Hey, Virgo Sun Rising in Venus. This is what we got going on for July 20th, 2022. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. Let's get it. Virgo's coming with the Eight of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Devil card. Ooh. <laughs> All right, Virgo's coming with the Four of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Eight of Cups energy right there. Right? Some of you guys might be going out to be doing some sort of feasting, enjoying yourselves, maybe going out for dinner. I am seeing a festival that's going to be coming in for some of you guys that, for the summer, of course. Um, maybe there's some sort of festival that's going to be coming in. You guys are going to be going out to that and enjoying yourselves, Virgos. It's saying that you guys are going to have a great time with the Eight of Cups. I do see that someone is going to be very sad while they're out feasting and eating street food is what I'm seeing. <laughs> um, but please, you know, get yourself together. If you're going to be going out, don't be walking around all sad and everything like that. And just live your life and do your thing and just take time and be happy. Just be happy. Uh, all right? Um, I'm also, okay, I'm going to read this energy in two different ways, Virgos. So some of you guys are going to be going out, feasting, doing your thing. Summertime is here. You guys are going to be enjoying that as well, right? Some of you guys may be going out with the uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If that is the case, Virgos, a lot of you guys are maybe not even trusting this person anymore because you feel like this person is not able to give you what it is that they, uh, uh, give you what it is that you're looking for, Okay. You feel like this person's like very toxic, very low vibrational, that they're always partying and they're always rejecting you. A lot of you guys are ready to move on with your life with the three of wands and sometimes you get taken back sometimes because the way that they're always coming back towards you. Somebody here is going to be receiving some sort of drunk test text as well. So maybe somebody's going to be drinking and they're intoxicated and they're going to be reaching out to you. But a lot of you guys may not even honestly respond back to this person when they contact you here, Virgos. Uh, they will be feeling all the way fucked up if you're not responding back to them. Um, with the Two of Pentacles to the Eight of Swords as well, my loves. Some of you guys might be married to this person or in a long-term relationship, but it's like you guys are not able to get this relationship off the ground with the Magician card, Star card, and the Death card. A lot of you guys are ready to put an end to this connection or this marriage for that matter, Virgos, because you're not able to prosper. You're not able to manifest. You're not getting what it is that you guys want. You just feel like you're abandoned all the time. You feel like it's a huge loss, like you're not getting what you need, and a lot of you guys are ready to take off and, and put a severe end to it and like end it and never fucking look back because this person is so materialistic that they only think about themselves. They're very arrogant energy is what I'm picking up and also very egotistical energy here as well. And they're not able to be the best partner for you with the Nine of Cups in reverse. But even when this person tries to communicate with you about how it is that they feel, they never have, a, it, never ends up, it never ends up well for them, you know? Uh, it's, like, it's, like, it's like there's some sort of, you guys got generational curses that are on you. You guys got to find a way to break these generational curses, Virgos. It, because it, it's, it's, they're saying that the generational curses are, are from a very long time ago. And you need to free yourselves from that with the Ten of Cups. But there are generational curses that are placed on you guys. And you guys need to find a way to break out of that. Because a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys may come from families that are always getting a divorce pun divorce pun divorce it's like no marriage in the family ends up well you know even if you guys are with the person for a long time it's like it still ends up in a divorce in some sort of way it's because there's a generational curse that was placed on you guys and your family lineage and you need to find a way to free yourself from that situation uh virgos if you guys are able to figure that out uh they're talking about a past life regression if you guys need to do that uh, go on and do that, Virgos, if you need to. But, of course, always be careful when you're doing it. Knight of Swords in reverse to so the Three of Swords. <sighs> so much heartache here. And it's like, no matter what you guys do and try... It, it, like, no matter how many times you guys sit there and try and talk to each other, it always results in some sort of fucking argument with the Knight of Swords. Like, just a fucking aggressive energy, right? And... It's shit from the fucking past that neither one of you guys are able to release and let it go. It's like maybe this person ended up cheating and maybe that you guys are involved with a narcissistic relationship that's been on for a good seven years. A good fucking seven years. Some of you guys may have been in this connection for eight years, fucking nine years, like a long fucking time for some of you guys. And you guys are dealing with this shit for this long? That's crazy. <clears throat> And you guys continue to bring up things from the past over and over and over and over and over again. Six of Cups. 
and you guys are probably like calling out this person like hey remember when you did this shit well this is why I am the way that I am today because you know it's like you're still with them but you don't forgive them for what they've done emperor in reverse nine of wands you just want to fucking give up on this connection because you're done and over with because no matter how many times you guys try and communicate with each other and nothing ever ends up working out and it's like even if you guys try and pack your shit up and leave this person still tries to fucking come in your way because they're very narcissistic somebody here has bipolar uh energy on them as well uh and personality disorder two virgos with the king of cups six of swords eight of wands are not a very good communicator they're they, they they're horrible at communicating with you they're horrible at telling you and expressing to you how, how you feel and when you guys are ready to move make a move because you're gonna make a move you're dipping they're gonna try and come back in front of you and be like no please don't leave don't leave king of cups and you're going to be like, the fuck, what do you mean? Don't leave. I'm the empress. I, I'm taking my kids and I'm fucking dipping out of here. I'm the emperor. You're not going to stop me. So it's almost like, like let's just say, for example, you're right here. You're you're here in the Six of Swords energy, right, Virgos? <laughs> you're right there and you're just like, oh, get the fuck out of my way. Get the fuck. Get the fuck. <laughs> like, I'm the fucking empress. Like, don't fucking tell me what to do. And that's because you guys are officially seeing your worth you're seeing that when this person came into you like let's just say virgos you guys have always been the nine of pentacles to the empress and then when this person's energy came into your life it's like shit just went fucking downhill and now that you guys are finally seeing what it is that you guys are worth what you deserve and what you need in your life it's like you're not going to allow this person to come in and stop you a lot of you guys are in narcissistic relationships who are could be potentially very fucking abusive and very toxic and low vibrational and drinking and partying all the time and, you know, the last thing you want to be is with somebody who's an emperor in reverse, somebody who can potentially put their hands on you and cause harm to you and your children if some of you guys are in a, in a connection like that. Um, but it will result into an ending with the Ten of Swords. It can either go good or it can go fucking sour and go bad. Seriously, Ten of Swords. It has to come to an ending, Virgos. This, this it has to come to an ending because how much longer... Like, what, if you were to stay, what could potentially be the outcome if you guys are in an, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an abusive relationship like this with a narcissistic person who puts their hands on you? What, you're going to let them fucking murk you one day and then, and then what, what's going to happen? They hit you in the wrong way. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you're going to have to really choose yourself in this predicament if you guys are in something like this. Switching up the energy, right? A lot of you guys are the type of people who speak your mind, speak your truth, and a lot of people cannot fucking handle that. They can't handle the fact that you're always enjoying your life, that you're so happy and doing your thing. You guys got a lot of increase of happiness and wish fulfillment coming towards you guys with the Four of Wands. You guys got a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Sorry, that was weird. A Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn who is very much so jealous of you, Virgos. This person realizes that they have no more control or power over you anymore, and they don't. you don't trust them at all. You will be leaving this person out, out and about. Like, you're not going to be going back to this person at all whatsoever, all right? They're going to try and come back in and make an offer towards you, but you're just absolutely done. You're, you're turning your back away from these people, especially people who wanted you to become low vibrational like them or, you know... It is what it is. You're not going to do that. You're going to continue to move forward. Your enemies, Virgos, are pretty fucked up at the moment with the Eight of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. They have a lot of stuff going on. Like they're not, like they're going through so much bullshit. Like they're trying to, they're trying to keep their shit together, but they're honestly are, are really having a fucking hard time. Your enemies are going to be asking God for mercy, literally begging to God for for mercy for what they've done to you because they, you see, my throat chakra. They don't want me talking about it. So now your enemies. <laughs> Virgos, then nothing gonna stop me from talking, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna fucking talk all day. Uh, Hierophant, they're gonna be begging God for forgiveness, Virgos, for the, all the magic that they've placed on you with the magician reverse, the star card. This person did a lot of fucking magic on you. They did a lot of magic on you to destroy you and to hurt you. But, the Hierophant is here. And if that's what you wish on somebody, then that's what is going to come back in return. You will end up becoming destroyed. The one that does the fucking dark shit. Somebody in the comment section said, you confuse me when you say you. Bitch, what do you mean you're confused when I say you? You know who the fuck you are. The fuck you mean. The fuck you mean. <laughs> 
Oh, I said you. Yeah, you, bitch. The one that's fucking doing the dark spells. The one that's attacking innocent people. The one that's fucking going out of their way and, 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 and hurting people for no fucking... I'm talking about you. If you're a good person and I'm talking about... And I'm saying you, clearly that doesn't fucking... It's not coming toward... That energy is not for you. That energy is for the person who's working against you. Doesn't that mean... that? Where's the common sense? I, I can't handle... I can't handle people who don't have common sense. It's just a fucking pet peeve for me. I can't... I can't keep up. Please make sure you don't... You don't comment stupid shit in my fucking comment section. I don't want to... I don't want to read stupid shit. <laughs> hey... Just because I don't know every fucking big word in the fucking thesaurus and dictionary and whatever the fuck what and new word that they're placing in there. Listen, common sense, common fucking sense, all right? Just common sense. So Virgos, Hierophant, these people are going to be praying and begging God for forgiveness with the Hierophant magician, but their wishes are not going to be granted. Their mercy will not be granted, Virgos, because they've done so much destruction spells on you to destroy you, to hurt you, that it's not going to end up happening at all whatsoever. Uh, these people have definitely abused their power with their spell work with the star card. And for that, they will end up at a huge loss. Uh, and the death card, God does not appreciate it, especially in this situation, because I am seeing that too many people have tried to steal your gift. Okay. By doing spell work to literally steal your gifts, to steal what God has blessed on you with. And they want to take what God blessed you with. You have no right doing that. Even through spell work, you still don't have a right to do that. God will be the one to accept it and to decline it at the same time. And even if it happened to you and it, and it did prosper, it's to teach you how you're going to be able to get overcome these situations that come your way. Meaning you're on your life purpose. You're supposed to be doing what you're doing. Don't ever fucking doubt yourself. It is what it is, Virgo. So for that, death is coming into the people who tried to take this away from you guys. Especially the people who fucking use their money in the wrong way with the King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Heavy on the Capricorn. This Taurus too, uh, Virgos. These people are, they made a lot of fucking mistakes with their magic as well. And they're realizing now that them going and working against you is why they're in the wheel of fortune reverse. Nothing is happening. Nothing is prospering. Nothing is moving. They're all being fucking judged, Virgos. You see that one right there? I don't even want to tell you what that one is. But this one here, Virgos, they are they are letting you... This, this spirit here is saying, the wheel's not turning, doggy, because you fucked up. <laughs> I know which one it is, but I'm not, I'm not going to go there. We don't need to go there, all right? Uh, Ten of Cups, Virgos. So <sighs> they're having a really hard time on reaching their Ten of Cups energy. Why? Because the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse. They've created all this bad luck for themselves. And they're coming to the realization now with the Page of Swords that if they didn't do with the stupid shit that they've done, maybe they wouldn't be in this predicament right now. But they are. And that's why they're having a hard time reaching their success and their happiness and their emotional fulfillment. They're like wondering, like, where's my happiness? Why is... What do you mean, bruh? <laughs> what do you mean, bruh? How are you, you going to get to your Ten of Cups if you're the King of Pentacles in reverse? Okay? Stop doing stupid shit and then maybe your shit will prosper. So these people will end up in a severe heartache and they're going to have to pay for the consequences of their actions with the Knight of Swords or the Three of Swords. They inflicted pain on your heart space. A lot of people did magic on your heart space, Virgos. They did. They hexed your heart space. They tried to fucking make you become cold and numb. They tried to make you become cold and numb, Virgos. They didn't want you to send love into the world. They didn't want that. A lot of people from your past are these these people, okay? So this is past life energy with the past, with the with the six of cups, all right? So these people continue and continue in every life and reincarnation that they've come into Earth plane, all right? They continue to do the exact same thing over and over and over and over and over again, and they're not learning from it. So they put themselves in this fucking loop of a shitty cycle for themselves and they're not learning from it. They're just like, oh, ha, 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 black magic, I'm a, I'm a fuck up. It's like, when are you going to realize that that shit is not fucking cute? It's not cute. It's not It's not nice and it's not cute. How, how does it make you feel happy that you can actually intentionally hurt somebody else because you feel hateful within yourself? Doesn't that sound horrible? It's fucking horrible. Like, how do you really go out of your way to hurt somebody and think like, oh, ha, 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 I, I did, I'm going to, they're going to, they're going to have chaos in their life. Like, how does that make you feel proud? How does that make you feel proud? I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm a different breed. 
I'm in the different breed Virgos. I may not understand what these people are fucking trying to do out here. Uh, however, though, <sighs> they're pretty fucking evil with the Emperor. Very narcissistic energy. They're going to end up having to give up as well with the Nine of Wands and leave you guys alone with the Seven of Swords because they're realizing that they're losing their power. They don't have any more power. They're not protected at all anymore, Virgos. And they're pretty fucked up with the Nine of Wands in reverse. They cannot fight their battles anymore. And no one's coming in to save them at all. Like, they have no support. They have no protection. They have no help. Because they continue to be this type of person. Spirit doesn't like snakes. Spirit doesn't like deceptiveness. Spirit doesn't enjoy that type of energy. Especially when you're supposed to be the emperor upright. But you chose to be the emperor in reverse. You chose to be that. Nobody told you to be that. You chose to be that on your own. And now that you're losing your power, uh, you're not going to be able to handle the darkness is what I'm picking up with the nine of wands of the emperor. You want somebody else to handle the darkness that you throw at them, but you can't handle the darkness yourself? Why? Why? It's because you're a coward. You play with the spiritual realm. You play with all this dark energy, but you can't handle the dark energies that come back your way. Why? But you wish it on somebody else, though, right? Yo, somebody here needs to fucking swallow their pride and fucking humble themselves. They need to humble themselves, Virgos. Uh, seven of Swords, Nine of Wands, all right? Uh, the people are very fucking jealous of you. You guys are going to continue to move forward with your life with the Six of Swords. They're pretty fucking narcissistic, Virgos. It's like they don't want you to ever move forward at all, but they're like, you still saying at the end of the day, uh, don't ever doubt yourself. You know your worth. You are the you are the royalty. You are the empress. You are going to always create no matter what. No matter who is going to come in your energy, you will fuck them up. You're the empress. You're going to continue to move forward. You've always been royalty, and you're going to always be royalty in every life that you come on, and you come into this earth plane one king of panic king of cups two king of pentacles three king of wands four queen of pentacles five oopsies <laughs> five <laughs> knight of swords that's five fucking enemies of yours that are all in reverse virgos for going against you and you're up right here and you're up right here and that's because you speak your fucking truth and you stand in your power and you're loving and you're nurturing and you're kind and you're caring and you're abundant and you're always and forever going to be this way. Why? Because you're the divine feminine, the, the, the divine masculine. That's who you are and that's who you guys are always going to be. All right. So <sighs> you're blessed, Virgos. You're blessed, Virgos. All right. So at the end of the day. Uh, there is a lot of pain here, a lot of betrayal and a lot of endings, but with this ending is going to come a new beginning with the ace of, ace of sword energy. Make sure you guys are always protecting yourselves and protecting your energy with the four of pentacles because you guys are going to be gifted and blessed much more. I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to tell you guys Virgos. I cannot, I'm not allowed to, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to tell you what you guys are going to be blessed with. When that blessing comes in for you, you're going to fucking know what it is. <laughs> I can't. I'm not. I'm not. I do everything I can to make sure you guys, you guys are good. Uh, you see what they've done to you? And you guys have stayed very fucking quiet about it too. These people are really going out of their way to fucking hurt you, destroy you, and you guys stayed as the high priestess. You stayed quiet about it. You guys have so much secrets within you, Virgos, that if you were to even speak up with the ace of swords to the, to the high priestess, if you were literally open and start talking about it, it would be pretty much fucking devastating. It would be really devastating. Because nobody would ever ill wish on somebody who is so loving and divine and an earth angel and light worker. Nobody would, no one wishes that for anybody, as a matter of fact. But because people know what's in your heart space and they know how loving you are, it would really, really hurt a lot of people if they knew the shit that you had to go through. But because you are the high priestess, you stay quiet about it. You don't show people what you've been going through. Uh, they did cause you a lot of pain in your life with the Ten of Swords as well, Virgos. All right, you guys are gonna continue to move forward, and you guys are in your power, and your confidence is fucking lit as hell, Virgos. Uh, strength card as well. You guys are gonna continue. You guys are really good at what it is that you guys do. You guys bring service into the world with the High Priestess, Ace of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles, and Spirit and the Angels are are, are really are are really applauding you for that Virgos because you do a really good job even with all the pain you guys had go, gone through this is like this is this, they're saying that it's a huge fucking test for you guys 
It's like, are you still capable and, and willing to give to people who are needing of you and your energy when you're all fucked up and on your face, Ten of Swords? The answer was, yes, you were able to. You did everything with caution, but you fucking did it anyway. And you still continue to bring uh, service into the world to help people, uh, even when th the circumstances was not always in your favor, but you still showed face. You still made sure that you got shit done. You still made sure that you brought service into the world by helping people, uh, by still you know, running shit. You know, you, you still managed to fucking do that shit. And you never allowed the tennis stars or the betrayal of people to take you out of a position which would be out of your throne. You didn't allow that to happen. You're like, nah, no matter what they do upon my name, I'm going to still sit here and I'm going to do what I need to do. High Priestess, you bring service into the world, strength card. And for that, you have assured success. So much abundance is coming towards you guys, Virgos. Maybe even more business opportunities as well with the Ace of Wands. Whoa. Ace of Wands. That's new beginnings and wealth coming towards you guys, Virgos. <sighs> but it is the Page of Wands. So do expect maybe more business offers coming towards you. And a message that's going to be coming for you. You guys also may have an Aries Leo Sagittarius who's going to be contacting you while you guys are at work. Maybe this person's at a distance from you. Maybe this cycle was already done and over with between you and this person. But they're going to try and come back and, and reach back out to you guys again. So maybe when you guys are working, you guys are going to be receiving a message coming in from this person, all right? You guys... Like I said, I'm not I'm not going to say it, but you guys have a huge, huge blessing that's going to be coming towards you guys, Virgos. When you guys realize what that blessing is for you guys, make sure you guys protect it at all costs. Protect it at all costs, Virgo, because that's how amazing this blessing is going to be for you guys, all right? This Aries Leo Sagittarius is going to want to work on the relationship between the two of you guys. After the fact that you guys had broke up with each other with the tarot card and fought with each other with the five of wands. If you guys are in any type of domestic relationship like I was talking about over down there, you guys are going to, there could fucking be a way that you guys may end up actually linking up with each other again and... <sighs> it's very difficult when you're in an abusive relationship or in any toxic relationship, okay? It, it takes time to heal. It takes time to rewire your brain. It takes time to fucking feel the detachment. It feels, it takes a very long time. It's like fucking being on drugs. That's what that shit is. It's literally being on drugs. It's like, okay, well, you know, you got to burn a ting. <laughs> so well, if you don't burn a ting, you're going to fucking be really upset. You're going to be frustrated, very annoyed. But are you going to be able to handle and control the way that you're feeling when you don't got nothing on you so you can numb those pain that you're feeling? You see me say? So this is the exact same thing. Narcissistic abuse is literally like a drug. We have to remember, love is a drug. And if you give it to the wrong person, it will fucking destroy you. So please be mindful on who you choose to give your time to and who you get decide to give your love to Virgos. This person's coming in trying to make an offer to apologize to you, but you guys are in hermit and you guys are going to have to call judgment. Like, yo, do you really want to go through this bullshit again? Do you really want to go through all this fucking domestic shit again? Do you really want to go through breakup after breakup on breakup, fucking leaving, going to have people support you, having them hear your fucking crazy shit and crazy, and they're, and they're looking at you like, yo, are you not tired? Like, are you not fucking exhausted? Are you not tired of dealing with the exact same shit over and over? And you guys are like, I love this person, but I fucking love them. Listen. <laughs> sometimes when you say you love someone, what do you love about a person that fucking destroys you? What is that? What is the, well, There's no love there, Virgos. You have to look at it and be like, you know what? Fuck your feelings for a moment. I'm not even joking. You actually have to look at yourself sometimes and be like, you know what? You are also responsible for your own life too. Oh, he does everything because he comes back and apologizes to me and tells me how much he cares about me. So I go take him back. So the fuck what? So this person, that's what narcissistic abuse is. Narcissistic people feel like they fucking own you. So no matter how long you guys go and dip from each other, they're going to still come back no matter what. They're narcissists. They'll be able to get you back just like this because they know how your fucking mind works. Why? Because they programmed your fucking mind. They programmed your mind. You understand what I'm talking? I'm, I'm being serious. Like they, they're the narcissist programmed your fucking mind to, uh, to, to say what they need to say to you, to get you back, to have the, have you being wrapped around their finger. They know exactly what to say to you. And until you break out of that, 
they're always going to have control and power over you. What do you choose? Do you choose a better life for yourself or do you continue to choose to be in cycle with this person who's a karmic for you and then tell yourself, but I love them. Listen, love will get you fucking murked out here. And if you're not fucking smart and wise about it, you'll end up in a cycle for another fucking 10 years of misery and bullshit. You'll end up getting hurt, pregnant, and then you're going to have to raise your kids in a fucked up environment. Do you seriously fucking want that? Speaking truthfully, Virgos, do you guys fucking want that type of crazy shit in your life? The answer is fucking no, and it should have been a no right away. I don't want to hear, yes, I love them. The fuck, no, you don't. (laughs) You're programmed by their fucking mind. You're not going to love them 10 years from now, believe me. By the time you're like 80, you're going to be like, I can't believe I actually put myself through that fucking shit, and you'll laugh it off. But it's not fucking funny now. It's fucking sad, Virgos. Please help yourselves. Figure it out, you know? Uh, anyway. All right. I'm a mother to you all. (laughs) I'm a mother to all of you, Virgos. Okay? So, you guys are going to be calling judgment on this and realizing, like, you know what? I'm done and tired of this crap. Five of Wands, judgment card, hermit card. You're like, okay. You're, You're coming in, but the... The intentions behind this page of cups, is it honestly sincere? Or are they only doing it because they know that they can have power over you with the six of wands, that they have control, that they can get you back? (laughs) Right? They know Virgos. Some of you guys may have a ute with this person. A kid? A (laughs) ute? Right? (sighs) Ah... You guys may feel like, oh my god, I lost absolutely everything being in this relationship with this person. And you guys got a kid. Be always blessed that you guys always got something, Virgos, with the sun card. Like, always be happy that you were able to have that for yourself. So there's nothing to be sad about. Be sad with the fact that you allowed somebody to actually do this to you for this long and you didn't fucking leave them sooner. But it's fine. Don't punish yourself. When you realize, you realize. And when you're out, you're fucking out. And that whole, I love him, I love him, I love her. I, <laughs> Yeah, you love them so much that you're, you're willing to, to, to have them hurt you constantly. But do they love you enough to not hurt you? Okay, so you guys got this huge blessing that's coming for you with the Ace of Wands. The Queen of Wands, they need you to step into your power, Virgos. Everything's going to be balanced out as well. Some of you guys may be receiving some sort of money here too. (sighs) If you guys are running businesses as well, Virgos, it looks like money's coming towards you or you guys are, yeah, your money's coming towards you. If you guys are wondering about your business at all and wondering if money's going to be coming in and, you know, it looks like it is going to be coming in. Skills will be balanced. Everything will be fine. If anybody was trying to do that magic crap on you to fuck with your money or fuck with your business, don't even worry about it. That money's coming towards you and your clients are coming towards you as well. Customers, if you were in customer service, you know you got clients coming and walking through that door. Uh, This opportunity is coming for you guys, Virgos, and they need you to stay confident, to have faith, to have hope that everything's going to work out. You guys have a ton of prosperity coming towards you as well with the Six of Pentacles. The universe is going to pay you back in return of everything that you guys may have also lost, all right? So this blessing's coming in, especially if it's a, it's a work, a work, work stuff. You guys are going to be so fucking busy. So busy, Virgos. You're, you guys are going to be too fucking busy that you guys may not even have time for a little bit of stuff right now or you may not even have time to actually go out. So it's like when you got a couple hours to dip, you're going to go out and do your thing and then you got to come back and do your work. Uh, make sure you guys are always going to stay grounded at the same time, Virgos, all right? Uh, the angels are working behind the scenes as well to help you push forward, but things are pushing up a lot more faster. You guys also have a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, a Sagittarius, who's going to be running back towards you guys, Virgos. This person's going to want to heal the connection with each with, with you as well. If anybody here is trying to make some sort of offer towards you, telling you how they want to work with you in some sort of way, when you're already alone with, when you work alone... You need to understand, Virgos, that you cannot have people leech on you. When they see you being successful, people want to jump in on that boat and and also feed off of your fucking energy so that way they can become successful. It's not a good idea. You make sure that if you're doing everything on your own now, you do it until you can hire yourself employees. But no one's going to be sitting here partnering up with you after you already fucking did more than enough work for yourselves to take the recognition for yourselves all right 
uh, especially with people who are going to be selfish and conniving towards you. Because I do see that somebody here is it was somebody here was trying to get you to work with them, or you know, but they weren't. Especially if it was business opportunity here, if they were trying to like jump in on whatever it is that you're working on, it's best that you guys say no because this person will start some shit with the chariot card. They're only down for themselves. Only down for themselves. So they're not coming in to be like, oh yeah, let me help you. We're business partners. No. They're coming in to fuck shit up. That's the Ten of Wands, the chariot card. No. The answer is fucking no. You're going to be honestly thinking about it with the Seven of Pentacles. All right? <clears throat> uh, where? where <laughs> Uh, seven of pentacles, the nine of swords. Two, yeah, if you guys were to even consider that, it will cause you guys so much stress with the nine of swords because you would have thought better to not put yourself in a position like that. And some of you guys may end up doing that or have done that. And you're not really feeling all that happy about it either. Full card, nine of swords. And you're like contemplating, like, why did I do what I did? Like, why why would I do that? Why would I trust somebody to work with me or whatever? Just fucking go on and do your own thing. Like, why Why do you need a business partner for? Why do you need somebody after four fucking years to come in and help you out with your business when you've been hustling and doing your thing the whole fucking entire time? Don't be letting nobody leech off your fucking energy. Don't. What? They see you being successful. They see you getting the cake. They see you getting the fucking, the, the fucking bag and they want to jump in on that. Tell them to go fucking do their own work. Go get your own fucking business. Do go on with your life. The fuck? No, don't even get fucking annoyed with me. I don't even want to hear it. This somebody's I can do what? <laughs> Bitch, shut up. I don't even want to hear it. Alright? Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, and the Fool card there. Alright, Virgos, they need you to stand in your power. Also, Virgos, there's gonna be a Gemini Libra Aquarius who is honestly tormenting themselves at the moment. This person is so fucking confused. They're confused. They're, they, there's so much fucking illusion. This person wants to speak to you. They wanna invest in you, invest within you, invest towards you, and they wanna take that opportunity to come for you virgos but somebody here does not trust this gemini libra aquarius especially if this person is going to be wanting an intimate connection with them right away all right you guys got uh love coming towards you from an aries leo sagittarius this person may also be a player as well virgos and you guys might be finding out about it and you guys are not happy either but i do see that this aries leo sagittarius here this one not this gemini libra aquarius one this gemini libra aquarius i don't trust their energy at all virgos this person is like always, this person is like literally sitting down waiting for you to text them back. They're all, and every single time you don't text them back, they're fucking freaking out with the nine of swords. Oh my God, they didn't text me back. <laughs> oh my goodness, they didn't text me back. They didn't text me back. And then you act wild with the fool card. I know it's the fool card. It's supposed to be so cute and innocent. But somebody acts wild with the fool card. And it's like, I was just, I was doing something. I was, I couldn't answer the phone. I was busy. And then you, you completely trip yourself the fuck out because you didn't they didn't respond back to you within like 10 minutes. And maybe they respond after two hours, you know what I mean? And it puts you in a lot of fucking paranoia and fear and stress and you're tormenting yourself. Because when you reach out to them and, they're, and you're waiting for their text message and they're not responding back, they're, they, somebody goes fucking crazy on a real level. Abuse is real. <laughs> Be careful always, Virgos. You know, you need to actually look within and, 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 and heal yourselves too. So this is what's going to end up happening. And then this Gemini Libra Aquarius is going to speak up about it and be like, hey, listen, like, I've been sitting here waiting for your text messaging. I love you. I want to be with you. Uh, what, what do you want to do? This Aries Leo Sagittarius wants to make an offer towards you guys as well. Some of you guys don't even want to be with this Gemini Libra Aquarius and you guys are seeing another opportunity with somebody else that you're feeling much more stable with. And more passionate energy uh, with them as well. Seven of Wands, Seven of Cups, and the Nine of Cu Nine of Pentacles. You guys are trying to defend and protect what you have created for yourselves, right? You're trying to defend and protect your Ten of Pentacles, as you right rightfully should. All right, you guys have so much more business offers and more opportunities coming towards you. This is big news for you guys, Virgos. Two of Wands, Lovers Card. Everything's going to be working out for you in the long run. Like trials literally overcome. <sighs> Everything will prevail and everything will work out in your favor. <clears throat> if anyone's trying to harm your business, your money, whatever, everything will work out in your favor with the justice card. That money is coming towards you with the page of pentacles to the hangman, all right? Make sure you guys are not spending your money all at one time, Virgos. People are going, the, your enemies are going to have no choice but to literally walk away from you because they're now realizing that you simply fucking defeated them. 
it is what it is. You defeated your enemies. They're going to have to rest and retreat. They're going to have to go on with their life and they're going to have to put their swords down and walk the fuck away because every after every single time they hurt you out of jealousy to attack you, to take everything that was right. The, the, uh, seven, five, seven, six, five. The fifth chakra, Virgos. They are always attacking. They're trying to attack your fifth chakra. <clears throat> All right? And now they're realizing that no matter what they did to you, Virgos, you're going to stand in your power and you're going to fucking defeat them at, at all costs. Like, you will. You will. You you played you played the field fucking correctly. It's like checkmate, bitch. You come at me left? All right. Checkmate, bitch. Checkmate, bitch. You've officially defeated them, Virgos. Five of Swords, congratulations on your, on your victory here. And your enemies are going to have no choice but to simply fucking walk away from you at this point because no matter what they did to try and take you out... You ended up winning in the long run. Thanks, cuties. Bye.